Hey, it's JR and I'm ready to give my review of the video on demand content. So first up, I did Denise's 10 minute yoga sculpt express class. And this is just a solid, solid class. I could see using this class um, for two different types of clients. First up, I would use it for a beginner client. It was a good class because it had challenge, but not too much challenge. It also combined a lot of things people love. People love the word express, people love yoga, and people love the idea of toning up a little, or sculpting, right? So um, I think it's one of those classes that could really help a user create good habits and getting them to move more. And so on a day that I'm not training a client, I could totally see assigning this to them being like, hey, this is it. And it feels really attainable because it's only 10 minutes and it wasn't too challenging. And so I think a, a user would come out just really feeling like, wow, this was a win. Um, also, I could see using it for an advanced client. I use it myself after a sprint hit workout and it was the perfect cool down, stretch, tone experience for me. And so if I had a client who's really into running or really into cycling, I would totally have them add this on in the same way I did um, to their to their workout week. And Denise was great at cueing. She was such a clear communicator. I love that we did no needless getting up and down. Like if we got up, it was because it was part of a move. If we got down, it was because it was part of a move. There was no fumbling about crawling about on all fours, which sometimes happens in those kind of yoga or Pilates classes where you're like, oh, here we are down on the ground. Like, no, not a minute was wasted. Not a second was wasted. Everything was on purpose. I do wish Shanice gave us a little bit more personality and a little bit more eye contact. That being said, I would so totally recommend this class. I think it's so solid and users would really, really like it. Okay, next up is a 25 minute cardio dance express that was called Pony Sweat led by Amelia. So I was super, super pumped to take this class. I am a lifelong dancer, I trained forever, and I um, spent actually the last two years creating my own online content, so I was ready for this one. Um, so I was really shocked because there was no music, and I, I'm wondering if maybe it was just in the app that we're using, or if maybe Form's taken all music off. I know licensing stuff can be complicated, um, but a dance class without music is a challenge and it made it hard to get through 25 minutes of it, if I'm being honest. Um, on top of that, the movement was super, super repetitive. It's just a lot of stop touch or like, you know, a lot of like pull, pull it back. And then a lot of step touch, a lot of grapevine. And with no music, it, was, it seemed super, super repetitive. And on top of that, the Amelia had a lot of really intense facials. <laughs> um, I could see that she has a lot of personality and it may be really engaging for some users. For me, it was a little off-putting and I found the screaming and the scary faces just to not really make sense with the movement. Um, and so I'd have a hard time recommending it for a user just for all those reasons I listed uh, or I just discussed, but she was good at cueing. She also... Um, was really clear about transitions. So if like we needed to move towards the camera or away from the camera, she was really, really good at explaining that. And I thought um, she did that really, really well. But again, I'd have a hard time recommending this class um, to use her just because I wasn't enthusiastic about it. Um, and I don't think it would be everyone's cup of tea. Okay, the next class I took was Wes's 10 minute lower body strength express class and like wow this class was an a plus for me not that we're giving grades but like i love this class he had a start and he's like give me a power pose and i was like okay wes i'll give you a power pose um and then he was like remember that because you're i want you to do that i want you to feel like this at the end of the 10 minutes and i just love that because right away i was paying attention and right away i was like yes wes is gonna get me to work and I'm going to feel awesome at the end of it. Like I knew it. He already convinced me. Like he told me, he's like, you're going to feel awesome at the end. Come on, let's get there together. Let's get to the finish line. And I just felt like I was like on a journey with Wes and I loved it. Not one minute again was wasted in that workout. Like it was 10 minutes, but I felt like he packed a 20 minute workout somehow into 10 minutes. My legs were burning. My heart rate was up. Um, he was so good at letting me know what I was going to experience. The preview at the beginning at the beginning of the workout, he did a really quick rundown, but it was really clear what I should expect. His cueing was excellent. And then a part I really, really liked is as we were doing some strength work and then he, all of a sudden we're doing metabolic conditioning. And 
he addressed for a user or for a client that that might feel like a surprise. He's like, I know this is strength workout and we're doing this stuff, but here's why. And I love that sort of value at experience where you're doing a workout, but, and then all of a sudden you're learning in the middle of it. Right. So you're finding out, Oh, okay. Like this is why I'm supposed to work out like this. Like, Oh, if I add a metabolic conditioning, here's what's happening during the workout. And so I just think people are so much more likely to get into it and give it a try and push themselves during those conditioning moments. If they know, what it's accomplishing for them. And Wes just hit that part out of the ballpark. So I'm a hundred percent fan of that class and would recommend it to anyone. But actually the only person I would not recommend it to is someone who has knee problems because it was pretty challenging or someone who's brand new to fitness because it, um, it was really challenging. And I think people could feel discouraged by some of the movements and it, some of the strength work required, um, a lot of knowledge of, of moves and coordination. So if someone's new, it's not the class for them, but for a more advanced user, it's gonna be the perfect challenge and a perfect fit for a busy week or if someone's traveling. All right, um, it was really fun to check out the classes. I'm so excited to keep checking them out and learning more.